Hi everyone, this is uh, Engineer Rafi and uh, welcome to our review channel. And today I will uh, discuss about the area bounded by curves. Okay. For example, you have uh, two curves. And uh, let's say this is uh, g of x and this is f of x. And uh, we want to determine the area be between these two curves. Okay, from this point of intersection up to that point of intersection. Okay. So the first thing to do is uh, to determine the point of intersection. Let's say this is x1, y1, and say x2, y2. This is the coordinate of the two points okay now in determining the area uh, bounded by these curves we can use a horizontal and or vertical strip okay okay for example we will use a vertical strip this will be y dx this is our y-axis and this is our x-axis okay? since this is vertical the vertical also will be y and the, the smaller one is the dx the area of this uh, curve will be area is equal to integral of y dx okay? Since this is uh, a rectangle, rectangle is uh, base times height. So this is also y dx. If this is dx, your limit will be in terms of x also. Okay. So this is x1 and x2. This value of y, okay. This value of y, that is the the y of the first function minus the y of the second function what do i mean okay so from this point okay that is this function is g of x right g of x and the second one is f of x okay this function is the f of x so your y therefore that is g of x minus f of x that is integral of x1 raise, uh, uh, to x2 f of x f of x minus g of x dx okay what do we mean by this one okay like for example the function is the y equals 3x cubed plus 2x squared and the other one is the 3x squared uh, plus 3y equals 2. Okay. This formula is that uh, take the value of y here less the value of y. For example, f of x, okay, this will become. 3y equals negative 3x squared plus 2 okay transpose this one and then divide both sides by 3 to take the value of y negative 3x squared plus 2 over 3 okay this is our y for f of x the other one is automatic to be like this so the area here for example that will become integral of the limit x1 x2 and f of x will be this 3x cubed plus 2x squared okay minus minus 3x squared plus 2 over 3 dx this will be the area. 
Then you can solve through calculator. Okay, integral. You can take the value of the area. It's clear? For horizontal strip, okay, if you use the horizontal strip also. This will become x dy, okay? Along x and this is along y. So your area here, okay? That will be equal to integral of x dy. If this is dy, your limit, upper, lower and li upper limit will be in terms of y also. This is y1 and y2. Where is y1, y2? That is the point of intersection of uh, the two curves. Okay. This x, that will be the same also. That is the x of the first function minus the x of the second function. Then integrate, then you have the uh, area. Okay, let's have an example. Find the area bounded by the curve x squared equals 4y and y squared equals 4x okay the this uh, curve this is a parabola okay both are parabola and the first one is a parabola that opens upward and uh, the vertex is at 0 0 the second one is a parabola that opens to the right and the vertex is at 0 0 okay So the first one is a parabola that opens upward okay please check my video related to how to determine if the equation is a parabola ellipse or hyperbola okay this is analytic geometry and the other one so this is x squared is equal to 4y and the other one is a parabola that opens to the right this is y squared is equal to 4x okay so find the area bounded by the two curve. We are interested about this area. So we can use a horizontal, either a horizontal or a vertical strip. Okay. The first thing to to do is to solve for the intersection of the two curves. Okay, because we need it for the limits. This is of course at zero zero. Okay. What is the point of intersection? So how to solve the point of intersection? We have. Uh, x squared is equal to 4y and this is y squared is equal to 4x take the value of y and substitute here and then solve for the value of x or you can also take the value of x and substitute here and then solve for the value of y okay so now we will uh, use value of x that is equal to y squared over 4 okay and this value of x we will substitute to the value of x here so this will become y squared over 4 raised to squared is equal to 4 y then y squared raised to 2 that is y to the fourth over 16 4, 4 squared is 16 that is equal to 4 y 16 times 4 16 times 4 we have 64 so this is y to the fourth is equal to 64 y then the transpose to the other side y to the fourth minus 64 y equals 0 factor y this is y 3 minus 64 okay so y equals 0 and then y cubed minus 64 equals 0. Solving further we have y cubed is equal to 64, y is cube root of 64, then y is equal to cube root of 64 is equal to 4. Okay. 4. 
So if y is zero, okay, from the first or second equation, if y you can use first or second, right? If y is zero, x is zero. Okay, so this is now the point of intersection zero and zero. If y is four, okay, is y is four, okay. Y is 4, 16, the value of x is square root of 16, that is 4. So x equals 4. So the intersection point is x 4 and 4, positive 4 and positive 4. Once you determine this point of intersection, then we can now use, uh, we can now solve for the area. Okay. We can use a vertical strip to be y dx. y dx you can also use horizontal for this point okay as long as when you use horizontal and you move uh, upward and downward it touches the two curves at the same time for any point okay so area that is equal to integral of y dx and if this is dx dx your limit will be in terms of x so 0 to 4 0 to 4 your y is y of the first one okay so that uh, you will not get a negative one this will be you uh, this one minus the other one okay so y is equal to square root of 4x okay this is the value of y and here y is equal to x squared over 4 okay so we will use this Okay, why this one first? Integral of 0 to 4, square root of 4x minus x squared over 4, dx. Okay, can you interchange the two? Yes, you can interchange the two. Your, your answer here is only negative, and we will ignore that negative. Okay. And you can now use calculator to solve this one. Okay, integral of square root of 4 alpha x minus fraction alpha x squared over 4 and then the limit 0 to 4. Okay, takes time. So while waiting for the answer, you can double check your solution. Sometimes it takes 30 seconds. The answer is 5.33. So from the choices, we have letter, letter B. Okay. Okay, let's have another example. prepared five examples here let's check the, the this one find the area bounded by the curve y equals 9 minus x squared and the x-axis okay so again this is a parabola that opens downward because of the negative x squared and the center is not at 0 0 okay Right. So first thing to do is to graph. Okay. First thing to do is to graph. So we have y equals nine minus x squared. So how to graph this one? Okay. If x equals zero, if x equals zero, then y equals nine. Correct. Okay. If y equals zero, if this is zero, okay. Let let us check. 9 minus x squared then transpose x squared is equal to 9 then x is equal to square root of 9 
then x is positive negative 3 okay. so if x is 0 y is 9 x is, if x is 0 y is 9 if y is 0 x are 3 and 3 okay so the curve is this we are using this technique to solve for the x and y intercept okay. 0 9 and that is 3 0 this is negative 3 0 so find the area bounded by the curve and the x-axis so this is our x-axis so this is the area here we are going to use a vertical strip only okay not a horizontal strip y this will become y dx right not a horizontal y if we use horizontal it only touches the curve and not one of the condition okay if you move the horizontal up and down it will only touch the two uh, the, the curve okay, the parabola okay our condition should always touch the curve and one of the condition okay so the area equal to integral of y dx if it, this is dx your limit in terms of x okay negative 3 to 3 negative 3 to 3 and your y is y of the first one y of this minus y of the other boundary so y of this that is equal to automatic 9 minus x squared y of this one is 0 minus so minus 0 so no need to write that is dx integral of negative 3 3 so your area will be using calculator we have integral of uh, close open parenthesis 9 minus alpha x squared and negative 3 to positive 3 the area is 36 okay. we have letter a 36 square units okay next we have another example find the area uh, under curve y squared is equal to 4x the line x minus 4 equals 0 and the x axis so first thing to do is to graph this is a parabola that opens to the right and the center is at 0 0 okay this is y squared is equal to 4x this line x minus 4 that will become x equals 4 okay for example this is at 4 this is x equals 4 and the x axis now since there are three conditions the area required here is only this region it satisfies this curve this line and this x-axis okay not not the two not the two uh, areas or the boundaries okay only this one so here we will use a horizontal strip or a vertical no problem okay. because there are times that you cannot use both depending on the condition y dx and this point of intersection this is 4 so this is 4 and what 4 and if you want to check y squared is equal to 4 times the value of x 4 y is y squared is equal to 16 y is square root of 16 that is 4 so 4 4 okay next 
So the area that is equal to integral of y dx. This is dx, so your limit will be in terms of x. Okay. So your limit will be 0 to 4. Okay. And your y will be square root of 4x square root of 4x dx integral of 0 to 4 okay so using calculator integral of square root of 4 alpha x from 0 to 4 your answer is If this is not present in the problem, okay. if this is not present in the problem, the answer is 10.66 or this is letter B. If this is not present in the problem, obviously that we will consider both. Okay? Okay. Next problem uh, we have also here. Another one. Find the area under the curve y equals x cubed plus 3x squared and x axis between x and uh, x equals 1 and x equals 3. Okay, so first thing is to graph this one so that uh, uh, we can figure out uh, what to do. So this, this is a cube and uh, okay. y equals x cube we can graph x axis x equals 1 and y x equals 3 that means to say that uh, we will only be using this is x equals 3 and this is x equals 1 so the curve is only here on this region okay this region so we can use calculator to determine approximate the this graph okay that is mode 7 mode 7 okay just type this function alpha x cube plus 3 alpha x squared equals starting from 0 then maybe ending a 5 and incremental of 1 okay then if you can check 0 0 and then 1 if this is 1 this is 4 okay 1 and 4 and if this is 3 3 and 54 okay so notice that the graph that is these are the values of x and this is the values of y up to the defined x equals 5 okay so the graph is increasing okay if you check here the graph is increasing so maybe something like this okay or i don't know then what you're interested in is this area bounded okay. here we cannot use a horizontal strip why? If horizontal strip is at this point, it will not touch the curve. Okay? So only we will use a vertical strip analysis. Okay? This is y dx. So not all the time that we can use both horizontal or a vertical. Okay? How to return this one? That is mode 1. So the point of intersection here is 354. Okay, we now have the point of intersection. So we can now proceed for the area is equal to a y dx. And if this is the x, your limit will be in terms of x, right? So 1 to 3. Your x here is 3 and your x is 1. Your y is y of the curve. 
that is x cubed plus 3x squared minus this point y is 0 okay so the x integral of 1 to 3 so we can now solve for the area integral of plus open parenthesis alpha x cubed plus 3 alpha x squared and the limit is 1 to 3 equals area is 46 okay we have a letter a 46 so these are the samples of uh, problems related in finding the area bounded by the curve please don't forget to subscribe and click the bell notification so that uh, when we have a uh, new videos and uh, you, you will be notified and also this channel I will uh, make videos for all subjects and uh, our intention is to make an online review especially for civil engineering for these uh, students review is sorry okay thank you